Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt. And today we're reviewing a bottle sent to me by some very nice people on the internet who go by the name of Penelope. Penelope. We're reviewing Penelope. Penelope. Barrel strength, four grain bourbon, batch number six. This beautiful bottle is what you could call a beautiful bottle. It has what I think are flowers on here, or black holes. They could be black holes, not sure. It's got a big P on it, which stands for Porter, like me, or it stands for Penelope, probably Penelope. Penelope bourbon, straight bourbon whiskey, barrel strength, corn, rye, wheat, and malted barley. 115.8 proof, 57.9 percent alcohol by volume. It's a four grain bugger and it's batch number six. Full transparency, this bottle was sent to me by Penelope. Let's empty this bottle a little bit into my belly. America. Penelope Bourbon. Distilled in Lawrenceburg, Indiana, bottled by Penelope Bourbon Bottling Company in Bardstown, Kentucky. Penelope Bourbon Barrel Strength pushes the boundaries of our signature four grain balanced flavor profile. This batch was blended from three bourbon mash pills that are aged a minimum of 43 months in new American oak barrels. So just under four years, cause I'm good at math. Each barrel was carefully hand selected and blended into a single batch to create this unique offering, non-chill filtered. The bottle is beautiful. I give it an A because it is a beautiful bottle and the company is named after the owner's daughter, which is tremendous considering I have a couple daughters. So they score major dad points, major dad points scored. Definite shelf appeal, has some definite shelf appeal. Just pop it up on a shelf and look super pretty. Let's go in for a nosing on this Penelope barrel strength son of a bitch. I feel weird calling this bottle a son of a bitch because it's literally named after the owner's daughter, which I guess actually wouldn't be a son of a bitch. So I guess it's fine. It's fine. I say it in good fun. Pop-Tarts. Ooh, cinnamon brown sugar Pop-Tart. Ooh, apple. Cinnamon apple. Cinnamon friggin' apple. Caramel apple sucker. It's like those green suckers that they drizzled the caramel over the top of and then dentists handed them out at Halloween so that you would destroy all your teeth and then have to go see them again the day after Halloween. Getting a little bit of cinnamon and coffee and vanilla. This kind of, I kind of get a little bit of a Kahlua off of here. It's like a, it's like a coffee liqueur almost. That is nice. I'm getting weird nostalgic flashbacks from when I was hammer slammered back in my early 20s. It's like uh, apple pie moonshine and homemade Kahlua. I'm getting both of those notes off of here. Not apple pie moonshine, um, what's it called? Apple pie shots, that's what it was. Homemade apple pie shots. Also some, some lighter fruits are coming through there, like a pear, like an Anjou pear. Overall, the nose is very appealing. It's exciting, actually. It's different in a great way. If the palette is anything like the nose, then guess what? Color me impressed. Probably take about 14 boxes of markers to do that. But still, it's like an entire semester's project to color me impressed. Down the hatch. Waffles. It's like a, oh, wow. That sent me to IHOP. A good IHOP. Maybe even a Bob Evans. Maybe a Bob Evans. Very breakfasty in the best of ways. That is very waffly, pancakey. More like a buttermilk pancake. A buttermilk pancake with like a salted butter on it. And then just a drizzle, just a drizzle of Upper Peninsula of Michigan fresh maple syrup. Just drizzled on the top of it, just a touch. 
A little bit of the youth is coming forward on the second sip. I'm getting some of the corn coming through now. Um, a little bit of the wheat, actually, like the weeded funk that you get on a lot of weeded bourbons is kind of maneuvering its way in, but not in a bad way at all. Not off-putting in the slightest bit. That's an interesting pour. It is mild, mildly viscous. The mouthfeel is, is decent, pretty decent mouthfeel. The finish is long-lasting. It kind of leaves around like a little bit of a, a sour apple Jolly Rancher finish that just kind of tingles there and lays on the back of your tongue. The finish is like if you dropped a sour apple Jolly Rancher into a field of wheat and corn and then picked it up and didn't brush it off and just ate it. That's what the finish is like. I honestly didn't know what to expect from this bottle. I knew it was gonna be a little bit young, probably a little bit grain forward. Overall, super impressed. I feel like overall, this is a good to very good whiskey. This is definitely 100% worth a try, for sure. If you don't buy one and take a chance on it, then for sure try it because this might be right up your alley and directly up your ass. I don't know. For me, it's a win. I do like it. And I can't wait to see what else comes out of the Penelope place. The Penelope place. Penelope receives a score of 7.2. 7.2. Strong bourbon, good bourbon, enjoyable, very good. Definitely worth a try, if not a buy. A 7.2. It's a fair score for you, Penelope. My name is Matt, this is ADHD Whiskey, and like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on having preconceived notions about what something is going to be, and then being pleasantly surprised, like a YouTube channel about whiskey that you click on and say, this is going to be absolute garbage, and then it is, and then you have to like watch something else to be pleasantly surprised. If you made it this far in the video, please hit the thumbs up, it helps a lot. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Leave a comment below. Have you tried Penelope Barrel Strength Four Grain Bourbon yet? This one's batch number six. What do you guys think? To me, super pleasantly surprised. For such a young company, they're kicking butt. They are kicking butt. Penelope, your dad's kicking butt. Making some delicious stuff. Thanks so much for sending it. Can't wait to see what else is coming out of your place. I've got the non-barrel strength bourbon that I've got to review soon as well.